All back to normal, all back put together. All right. I'm gonna give you a step by step on how to do this. All right. This is how this goes. When you go to replace this, what you're gonna do is that bolt right there is gonna be undone. After you undo that bolt, what you're gonna do is you're gonna undo this gas line. This gas line goes from here all the way down to right there. So once you unhook it, and after you unhook it, you can slide it out. Just wiggle it through, and once you wiggle it through this whole thing, you can take it apart. And once you take that apart, it has a 316 bolt on the back that holds the igniter switch, which is that orange cable. This cable right here is the igniter switch. All right, and then once you unbolt that one and you take it apart, all you gotta do is just bolt in the new piece. Once you bolt in the new piece, which costs about $157, that's how much I paid for mine, at a local repair shop. Once I bought that piece and I put it in, it started right up. Once it started right up, I had no more issues. The problem that I was having with it is it wasn't turning on. The blower motor was hesitant, hesitating to start and it would run once it got going. So like I said, it was just making a funny sound. The igniter didn't want to start, so I replaced the igniter. It cost me about 150 bucks. Like I said, this is the igniter wire. Right there is a little bolt that holds it in place. Those two little bolts just hold it to the bracket, so you don't gotta unhook those. All you do is just unhook that one, loosen the cable right here, or the, uh, the gas line. Once you unhook that gas line, it'll literally just snake right through. And once you unhook it, it'll slide out. Once you un get the new one in, like I said, you just unbolt that bottom bolt right there. If you can see it, there's that bottom one. That, it's an 11 millimeter, 11 millimeter. Like I said, once you unloosen it, tighten it back up, just snug it up. It's a flare fitting, so it, it fits nice and tight. You don't gotta worry about no air uh, gas leaks or anything like that. It's, it's the way the, the fitting's supposed to be. Like I said, it was a super simple job. Once I figured out how to do it, there's no videos on how to do it or what to do. So I kind of just figured it out on my own, watched a couple of other videos to see what was going on. But let me tell you something right now, it was a pain in the butt. But once I figured it out and I got it, it wasn't that bad, all right? So it's a quick, simple fix. Like I said, if you're having an issue, the igniter doesn't want to turn on, doesn't want to click, doesn't want to make any noise. Like I said, first thing you do is check that air filter. Change that air filter. Take that air filter out, inspect it, make sure, and then after that, if it needs to be replaced, replace it. And if you replaced it, take care of the rest of the steps because we're telling you now, don't skip the basics. By skipping the basics, you can cause yourself a lot of headaches and a lot of irritation and upset and frustration. And like I said, once I change this part out, this is the igniter switch. Once I change the igniter switch out, put in the new one, no issues, no problems, turns right back on. You can see the fire going now. Like I said, I didn't really see any videos explaining how to take it apart, but like I said, all you do is that one bolt right here at the main, take this one out, loosen it up. Once you got it all the way unloosened, it'll slide right out. Once it slides right out, you can easily just change the part from there. Like I said, it, it, it's uh, this bolt, that little bolt up there is a quarter inch, or yeah, it's a, a, one, a quarter inch socket. Once you change that, change that piece out, the back one's a, a 3 16 easy as that, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, it just, hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully this gives you a little insight. Like I said, I was having an issue with it where it wouldn't turn on, wouldn't kick over. The blower was just going, but sometimes the blower would have a hesitation. And this is the first time in almost, let's say six, seven months that we actually had to turn the heater on. So when I went to the shop to get the piece, people were saying that this is a common issue, common problem, especially if you haven't started or used it, the heater in a while. So since I haven't used the heater in a while, guess what popped up? This little issue with this igniter switch. Once I changed it out, like I said, it took me maybe about 30 minutes to figure it out. But once I was able to figure it out, I was able to get in and out probably within five, less than five minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it, it just requires a couple of, just a couple of, basic tools that you would have in any home and just by changing that part out like i said it made a difference change the air filter made a difference so like i said just you know hopefully this helps you guys out hopefully this figures it out you know one of the main things i did do too is i unplugged it every time i played with it because i unplugged it because it's all this is electrical i don't want to get shocked i don't want to get hurt so make sure you practice safe all right unplug things turn power off whatever you got to do make sure you do it and then plug it back in after you're done 
to test it. Like I said, so far so good. Everything's running nice and hot. You can see the fire going. All I had to do was just change this igniter switch and it gave me no issues. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know, I appreciate it.